Hi guys, um, out walking again today and I'm in um, Kreuzer, Kreuzer, C R O E S O R. And uh, to get to this place, you see all these cars here, it looks like uh, a popular place, but to get here, I don't know, I followed my phone from Blinder for Stinyog and uh, it took me up mountain tracks, it's all uh, <laughs> like a, just a track through the forest which is really hard going uh, and then onto all these narrow roads and I've had to get out of the car to open and close gates four times to get here but you get here, there's quite a few houses here, <laughs> there's quite a few cars here so I don't know whether there's an easier way but uh, that's the way I got directed but there's no signs for this place that's uh, that's what it is, Kreuzer, Kreuzer, and um, I'm doing Connect today, which is that way. So uh, I've not done the route before. So uh, weather at the moment drizzly and damp, but it has given us a clear up, and there is some uh, blue sky opening up now. So um, hopefully there'll be uh, some views when we get to the top. If we get there, so. Uh, Someone just waved to me as they went past there. I was filming to see me talking to myself. And uh, the sign for uh, Connect. As you come out of the car park, you turn right. So we'll do that way and we'll see where we get. Uh, beautiful little river right next to the car park. So, uh, I think you just carry on up. And, uh, public footpath sign there but the connect side was pointing up this way so oh there we go you can see that sign on the uh, telegraph pole so straight up so out the car park turn right and straight up There's a public footpath that way, but uh, Connect is straight on up this way. So that's that lane straight from the car park, follow to the end, through the kissing gate, and uh, keep on this way. My favourite old mossy old woods. Your moss on the trees and the on the walls, fantastic. You can see uh, how damp and humid it must be around here. A lot of the year to get that. Yeah, that's the track we come up. It's just um, straight up from the car park. And you come to this uh, junction here, very clearly signed. Connect. I don't know um, where the uh, connect comes from. I've spoken to a couple of Welsh friends who both say it's not a Welsh word. Uh, one suggested it might have German origins, uh, but one report said it was something to do with uh, coming from uh, Welsh for helmet because of the shape of the uh, mountain. Um, but they told me what the word for helmet was and it not something to do with nice apparently but they reckon it's not the Welsh friends so I really don't know what it uh, what it means but connect is how most seem to pronounce it and uh, can't see it very well with the clouds across it uh, but there it is dead ahead behind that uh, ridge you can just see the left hand side of the mountain poking up with the clouds in front of it, that's connect and uh, not a massive mountain, 689 metres I think it is uh, but I've watched a couple of uh, YouTube videos on the walk and it looks uh, a bit of a cracker uh, the views on the top are superb yes the clouds clear so uh, keep going lovely scenery the craggy rocks. Connect is called the uh, Welsh Matterhorn and uh, you can't see it because of the clouds 
but uh, nothing to do with the height, it's the shape. Looks like a pyramid at the top, uh, just on this angle. But once you do get up to the top, um, it's quite a broad ridge that runs uh, all the way along. And uh, I'm going to go along that ridge and see if I can find a way down and make it a bit of a circular walk. So, uh, see when I get up there what I'm going to do. But uh, let's give you a quick scan of the uh, view. Lovely. Looks a bit ominous in the clouds, but it's uh, a bit of blue sky. Sure, it's clearing. Hope so. But it's uh, not cold today. Probably about seven or eight degrees, maybe oh, probably six, seven degrees. But uh, when you're walking, that's plenty warm enough. I don't think there's any need to use the style there. redundant today. Really well signposted path this, where the path goes straight on. There's a sign for connect, going right. So it's a good path and well signposted so far. You still can't see the mountain properly because of the clouds. Let's uh, go up this way. Very wet. <laughs> Uh, path when it's been raining. I was unsure whether to put gaiters on because I read it was a bit swampy in places but I thought whether it's been all right I won't bother. But it's uh, quite wet and quite muddy in places which means slippery. Oop. Up this way. Over the stile here and then sort of bare left. Uh, I'll make your way up, there's a ridge before connect. You sort of make your way up that ridge and then there's a final scramble up uh, connect to the summit. Uh, see when we get up there? You just can't see at the moment. You can just see the ridge you sort of go up. I can't see connect properly. This way. That's the way we go in. Just look at that now. Hard to see down there. I think that's uh, Portsmouth down there. And then you go down towards Barmouth down that way. But uh, what a view. We're not even very high yet. Three other people on the trail in front of me, the two gents in front and another one further up. And, uh, and I saw the, uh, saw the two gents layering up in the car park, they must be sweating cubs by now. It's, uh, it's warm, a little bit of fine drizzle in the air now, um, but uh, very mild. And uh, easy, easy path to follow so far. See if I can back the way we come. There's a bit of blue sky out there somewhere. I think that's um, Mulwin Mower. Uh, uh, just look out of the path now, uh, making its way up. That sort of spinite ridge. I think you sort of make your way up there and then back up that side of Connect. So, uh, Looking good. Uh, getting a bit breezy and a bit cooler now, but I'm still plenty warm enough. A bit wet. So where are we going up there?
Alright, it's like the fun starts here. You follow this round up that ridge and then somehow from that ridge up to the summit of uh, Connect. It's getting a bit windy, but just look at that. Lovely view of that. So, here we go. Right, so once you cross that stile, you follow the path along, it just goes up and down a bit along the edge there. And then uh, this is where it looks like it uh, gets fun. Going up that ridge now, but the path's pretty clear so far uh, from the car park to exactly 1.4 miles. So uh, this is where we start to go uphill a bit more. And that's. Uh, yeah, Mulwyn Mower or Mulwyn Back. I think it's Mulwyn Mower. So, do that one day as well. That's the way we've come up. It's, uh, nothing you call scrambling yet. Uh, that's uh, just a walk. It's quite steep, but uh, not as steep as uh, a lot that I've done. But uh, the scenery is absolutely stunning. Clouds not lifting from the top yet. Still a little bit drizzly. But uh, I hope there's a view when we get up there. Uh, worth coming just for that now. It's a bit moody, doesn't it? You can't really go wrong on this path. You see the path just meanders a couple of different ways, but they all just head up to the point. So just keep making your way up. Not quite scrambling, but a few steps up. I haven't actually used my hands yet. But it's a lovely walk so far. Oh. See down the valley now. Lovely view. The clouds just uh, across the top there. What a place for a wild camp. I had a wild camp overnight, fantastic. Nice spot to uh, spend the night. <laughs> Perfect spot there. Bit of grass to put the tent up on, and a fantastic view. But enjoyed his breakfast there this morning. Looks like a bit of scrambling coming up. If you're worried about exposure, uh, a little bit on the side, but it's not. You know, you can come inside and not walk along the edge. It's not uh, terrifying by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, not a massive drop, there's ledges underneath, so if you're scared of heights, I wouldn't let uh, that worry you. There's nothing to, uh, nothing to be afraid of so far. Ooh. Imagine what the view would be like if it wasn't cloudy. Should have gone to Port Maddox, it's funny there. drizzly now. See the way we've come up. There's a bit of a drop on that side. If you like a bit of excitement you can walk along the edge but again you don't have to. You can walk along the path if you don't like the drop. But it's not sheer. You, know, 
you'd probably break something if you fell. <laughs> probably your neck. But, uh, have a look at them views. Forecast did say cloud clearing for about 12, quarter past 12 now, and if anything, it's thicker than it was before. Oh, great walk this is, recommend this so far. It's just slippery. Oh, that was a cracky walk up there. A little. Well, use your hands a couple of times, not proper scrambling. But, uh, that is <laughs> connected up the back behind that one. Uh, let's have a look where we're going now. Let's just follow the path down the side. Nice, that's where we come down there, along the path, and uh, there's the, looks like it goes up there, so uh, camera away, bit of scrambling, nice, just been talking to a few guys going down there, um, the path comes up here, when I first um, went around that first rock, you can climb up there, but it's a bit steeper. And here, the path goes that way, but apparently it's easier. Follow that, you sort of go round to the left and then back up. So uh, a bit of scrambling required on that bit that I've just come up. Well, more than a bit of scrambling, but uh, this is a great walk. Very drizzly now. And uh, hardly any visibility at all. Quite steep now, but after that first bit of scrambling, it's just a steady walk at the moment. And I might have to do a bit more scrambling up here. Oh! Ah. First of all, summit. I think, or is this his summit? This is the summit of the first peak. No, no view to enjoy. No, I think that must be a false peak. Go this way. The path, easier path down there actually, but I'm up here now, so go this way. Still fine drizzle, so everything's wet and slippery. This would be a fantastic view if there was one. <laughs> He's going that way. Pretty sure that was a false summit that we just uh, just come across. So we seems to be going back up now. So I can see another peak behind this one, which is probably the summit. I can really recommend this walk. It's a cracker. You've got a bit of sunlight coming out on the <laughs> just on a little bit of the valley over there. If you're at home, this is the weather you call wet and miserable. But uh, wet and cracking is what I call it when you're, when you're on a mountain like this. I'll come another day for the views, but what a walk. Fantastic. <laughs> Rainbow colours. That's uh, the way we just come down. Sweet. 
path goes that way and the path goes that way so take the higher ones so I can see where I am a bit of a scramble up there yep there's a path at the top as well there's a path that goes further down there if you're going to climb to the top, you might as well climb to the top. Misty and mysterious. First peak was the summit, and now we're going along the ridge of um, Kadit. Uh, I think that was the summit when uh, we first got there. And I'm pretty sure that that little pool is on the ridge. I got. I don't see where you're going at all. But, uh, I'll get down the end and see see if I can get down the the other way and make it circular. But uh, with the visibility, if not, I'll just come back this way. This has been a cracking walk. Same about the views. Keep going. Path going somewhere. Oh well, just uh, I'm just checking <laughs> where I am all the time so I can make my way back. And uh, on my watch, I have got a, a feature called track back or uh, breadcrumbs. So uh, if you do get lost, you can uh, use track back on your watch and it'll take you back the way you came. But uh, I'm just going to have a wander down here and see what's here. Find somewhere to uh, have a spot of lunch. Cloud opening up a bit over there. Now there is a way. If I follow this and drop down by those rocks and across the other side I believe there's a path that you can go around that lake and back down the valley past the other lake and then back across towards Croiser so uh, I think that's what I'm uh, probably going to do but I'll just keep going along here for now a little bit of a view on that side as well now Uh, January the 1st today and uh, I've signed up to do the walk 1000 mile challenge this year and uh, basically that's uh, works out about 2.7 2.74 mile a day and uh, as day one's done 2.74 so uh, that's at least, uh, that's going to be at least uh, day two in the bag as well by the time I get back. So, uh, good start to the year. And uh, I'm going to be counting all the walks that I do. I'm going to do some local ones, uh, local ones to home. Uh, maybe uh, on the prom in Pestatin. Um, most days to make up the miles uh, from when I'm not out doing uh, mountain walks. So 1,000 miles this year, what I'm aiming for. And uh, day one in the bag. Come down out the clouds now. Nice little lake.
Right, I've just stopped for something to eat and a, and a drink, so excuse the crumbs. Um, I'm at this point here, and I know you can get back down that way, but with the cloud coming in again and visibility, I'm not. Uh, I know it's quite um, pathless that way. Uh, I've just been talking to a gent that said that if you walk this way, you can go round past the quarry, put your foot in, and back down to Cloister that way. So uh, I'm going to do that. So uh, that definitely, that first peak was definitely the summit of uh, Cadict. <laughs> I'll never stop there because I didn't think it was the summit, but uh, that was the summit. We come all the way over the top of the ridge, drop back down this way, over here, and then further down you can get down back towards Cloister for the car. So uh, it's a cracking walk. And uh, Justine and Lee Wilkinson, if you're uh, watching this, and you haven't done this walk, you'll enjoy that that walk up to Connect. It's a bit of a cracker. So, uh, if you have done it, then you know better than me. Not too bad cloud wires now, but uh, there's more coming in. Right, so what we're doing now is we've come along down there and um, coming around here and uh, there's a lake on the other side we can sort of just make our way for that lake and then uh, make our way back but I've uh, got some battery problems again today so I don't know how much I'll get finished right I switched my phone now battery problems on the camera but so uh, we just come around there uh, that lake is where we're heading for and then back down from there so uh, probably going to cut down cut down this way I think path going down there actually I think I've got to walk round past that other lake over there and uh, down that way a bit of sunshine now uh, there's no real path I've just um, sort of come down or meandered down there just following um, sheep trails uh, it's, it's just it's just stunning around here the scenery is just amazing um, and then I keep picking up these small paths um, so I know where I am <laughs> there's whoa that's slippery nearly fell over then uh, connect up in the background up there um, and I'm heading back towards that lake that you can see before is over here somewhere and then uh, I just uh, there's not many paths it's just make your own way a bit, uh, a bit marshy but uh, not too bad at the moment Saying that, it gets wetter again. I've not needed the gaiters so far, but that'll probably change. And that's the, that's the lake I'm heading for there. And then cut back down there somewhere, so... Fun. That's all swamp. <laughs> now I've got to get down, down here somewhere. Great. Getting wetter, got to get across there somewhere. Great. I would highly recommend gaiters for this walk. Not too bad, but. Oh, sunk down a bit there. Uh, so we can get up here a bit. Work my way around it. There we go. But uh, just a quick scan of the view. And there's uh, Connect. Doesn't look so much of a pyramid from here, but from the other side it does. And then uh, that's the ridge there. Oop. There we That's the ridge you walked along. Back down there. 
and back down this way. Look at that. Oh, swamp. Nice, isn't it? Nice little lake. Right, uh, the lake is over that way. Um, I just crossed over some elastic fence without touching it. And uh, just make a way past the old quarry. Um, it's a lake quarry, but uh, there's no path. It is, uh, it looks like there's one down there. <laughs> There's one down there. I'm just walking in uh, marshland at the moment. It's absolutely soaking wet. I need to get down to that. But uh, look at that. Bit of a little waterfall there. Right, that's where I come down. There's another couple of gents coming down there now. Uh, and it looks like you can go down that way. Uh, but this way, there's a quarry to have a look at. So. Uh, I've got to have a look down at the quarry and then we can probably get further down the valley back that way. I so I know there's a gent down there that's uh, he's going back to Kreuzer so uh, I can follow him if I get lost but I want to just go and have a look at those. I've just followed, me, followed down there, crossed over the stream, just walked through a load of swamp but look at this. That's worth coming for. And eventually we're going to be heading sort of that way somewhere. Down, down here and have a look at the old quarry. That's the way I come down. I could have actually walked along the ridge and come down and come down there. Like those two other gents there are doing. But uh, that was a very marshy and very wet. The better route would have been just stayed on that ridge and coming down that way. But never mind. Another waterfall. Be a nice pool in the summer that cool down in. And there's the quarry. Fancy of slate here. Slippery slate. Another waterfall. It's spinning up here. Like an old mill wheel has been there at one time. Here somewhere. Look away over there. Uh, I've been meandering a bit today, but you can quite clearly see the route from the top of Connect right the way along the ridge and uh, basically come down there somewhere. And I've just you can see the you can see the slate mine. It's just maybe way towards that. The lakes the lakes on the other side there. Um, and then once you hit the slate mine, you've got this. Uh, well, it must have been the um, track for taking the slate out or something. Um, but this is heading back in the direction I want to go. So I'll follow this down. That's uh, a bit uh, wet and slippery on the rocks on the way down. Another waterfall. That's it, isn't it? I look at that view down the valley now. That's the way we've just come down. That's a tricky path in the wet, that. Looks a bit easier now. Lovely now. I like the way those uh, the sun's filtering through the clouds over there. I am absolutely loving this walk. Look at that. That's the old summit. No clouds up there now. This is fantastic. You really can't come and do connect and then just go back down the same way. That walk along the top there, up to the quarry and then uh, back down. And look at those views of the valley. 
So excuse the camera shake because uh, as I say I'm on my I'm on my phone now because of the stupid batteries on my cameras. Look at that. Superb. Path stream or both. <laughs> this is nice, isn't it? Both. That's wet, that's muddy. But what a beautiful walk. Uh, more of uh, my workings. <laughs> Bit low for my head. Oh, just look at that. That's amazing. So you were slowly lowering. Quite high before, but it's uh, going downhill now. It's typical that, isn't it? The summit clear when I get there. It's full of cloud. Clear now. This is absolutely stunning walk along the side of the valley. It is brilliant. Recommend this to anyone. See the uh, pass getting narrow now. That view. So where we come down, if I can't the uh, road down there, it looks as if it's uh, all flooded there. Have a look, sun shining on the water, keep it steady. Uh, a few puddles down there. This is where the uh, path becomes a bit of a stream again. <laughs> Not far now, across uh, over there somewhere. <laughs> Dropping back down now. There you go, that's the way we come. We got uh, come to the style here. You can see the start of the houses. That's uh, Croiser down there. So we go down that way. There you go. There's how we come down the style. We just followed the uh, field down, and there's a little track. Heading this way, or oh, muddy, which means slippery. Great walk, this. There we go. That's the end of that path. Go down off there, onto the track. Uh, which way am I going? That way, I think. Yeah, that's just someone's farm. <laughs> We're going down this way. That's the end of that track. Let's carry on down here. I've fallen down farmhouse or barn or something. Look at that. There's Connect, looking a bit like a pyramid again. So a bit of a track back down that lane, but uh, you get to this corner here, turn right and the car park's just on your right. Uh, back to where we started nearly. There you go. Right. Back to the uh, car park. What have we done? Uh, 7.16 miles, 4 hours 13 minutes. That's because I've been stopping and uh, filming. Um, that is a really nice uh, bimble. As I say, I'm on the uh, phone now, so I can't see whether I'm in focus or uh, in shot even. Um, but that was uh, Connect, a uh, 7 mile walk uh, up Connect. Uh, no view on the summit, but what a cracking walk along the top ridge and back on the other side of the valley. Well recommend it. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, there we go.